da 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 Hey folks, welcome back to Take Over the Target. So today I'm going to let my... Well, the... Let's try that again. So today I'm going to actually build some levers and actually make use of my new processing installation that I attached around the back here. So to do that, I actually need another lever. Well, I need to make a lever first. And... Drop that in there. I have I need one more glass. And I need I'd like one more wood. I have one wood. Get some a stick out so I can make a lever. Some cobblestone out for the lever. Have the redstone and I need another piston. So there's my piston. That up. Quickly make a lever, which I actually need two of, so making levers. Now I have two levers. I have extra glass, wooden planks, and gears, which I need two. So that's fantastic. So let's make our Redstone engine, we have our two levers. Redstone engine goes down there. There's a skeleton outside. I hope. Otherwise I'm hearing things. Uh, I'm just gonna pick this up, put the lever there, and put the pipe back there and then put my flooring back. So, the way this is supposed to operate is that the pipe is supposed to pull items out of this chest. So, I'll fill this chest first. So I have some gold ore in there. So I'll turn this on. As you can see, gold ore appears and then gets sent down this pipe and then vanishes and then reappears and it's going to vanish again isn't it well it's going to travel down this way until it gets into the macerator at which point it gets macerated and then it should be pumped out of the macerator and into chests that are on the far side of the wall, where I can get all my nice items out of it. So, and the reason I have this loop here is because the macerator can only accept one type of item at a time, I'm going to make sure that if it can't be put in, which is what the insertion pipe is for, that it'll circle around in a, a loop, and essentially wait for it to finish up and that should go through there and go down and become macerated. I'll turn this on to let the rest of the items flow. This is going to macerate it. As you can see, it's slowly working through it. Up there and the last bit. And then I get two dust. So I'm quickly going to grab that before it pumps it away. See, it's now been pulled out. Now I'm going to work its way south in that direction. And... It's going to end up on the far side in the chest. Over here, where I can pull it out and then do all kinds of fancy things with it. Uh, now, the reason I ha I'm not doing that directly is because I want to quickly pull as much of that out as I can as well as get a bit more charcoal ready because as elements go it's quite well gold's quite valuable it's worth 2000 EMC oh, 2048 and 
that means that this is more than a diamond's worth, which is the big goal. So if I can get that up to well, 10 quickly, so I'll just nab them out of here before they get pulled out by the furnace, and then I can run around, and I can pull out my massive refined iron and just stick that in. And that'll actually get me enough diamonds to make a second energy condenser. Which means I can condense energy at twice the current rate that I'm moving at. Which is my whole goal here. So I want to teach the gold ingots to the transmutation tablet as well. And then I can just put everything in there. You can see that hopped up quite a bit. And I'll store my refined iron in there because I can't do anything else with it. For the time being. So we have two more. And the chest is slowly being filled up with our items. Now I do still have my spare bat box, but that's for when I decide to move around. Which will be sooner rather than later. So I'm actually already down enough to be able to put in another piece of charcoal. And there's a skeleton firing arrows at me outside the walls. Some more. I'll actually go get him while all of this is running. So just make sure there are no creepers hiding around here. Because nobody likes creepers. They're creepy. And well, that was not nice. And around the house. It's all good. I'll pick up some more reeds while waiting for the furnace to cook. And then I'll call it into another quite short episode. Quickly pick up all these. Finally dropping reasonable amounts of seeds. Pick up some pumpkins. Oh, stupid cat ran on my farmland. back immediately. Well, I now have plenty of items. More to stick in there. And let's see what else we've managed to accumulate. So that's 12 dust and 8 more gold, which is quite a nice haul. And I'll put these back in here. So we have Iron ingot, grey wool, oh, silver ore, our stone, wood, glass, piston, hang on to the iron for the time being, and our seeds can go in here. We're slowly building up a supply of that, as well as our arrow. Well, all of this can just go straight in here. So I'm now up to 12 diamonds. I'll put the two ore in. As you can see, all the iron is slowly circling while it's still working on the tin ore. As well as the copper, which none of it can be inserted. And I can just leave that running now. Actually, take these and put them in here, as well as the. You know, hang on to the wheat. But I will pull out another jack o' lantern to put in there, and then I'm going to take my mass of diamonds and invert them. I just realized that I never actually taught 
by item how to make an energy collector, which is 200, which I now have two of. And I'll put my wheat away. And so, now, energy collector there, energy collector there, put a pumpkin on there, and I now have two of them. And they're both feeding in here, so now I'm getting twice as much energy as before. And tin dust. So, thank you very much for joining me, folks. I hope this has been an informative episode, and I'll see you next time. Bye.